So I just thought I'd show everybody the uh, the wood splitter I built last winter. Uh, we just started using it here this spring. Um, so this is a screw type wood splitter. Uh, my understanding is that these used to be more popular in the United States. Um, There's a couple brands of them sold. And then, I don't know whether it's true or not, but I've, I've read that they were quote unquote outlawed in the United States. Um, for safety reasons. Um, so, we were looking for a wood splitter last winter and I didn't want another engine to maintain. And I had seen these splitters before and I started researching them and decided to just build one. So, this, this large screw and this bearing assembly so the large screw, the bearing assembly, and the shaft. This this assembly right here, I bought off eBay. It came from Poland, and the seller on eBay it's it's called Four Split, F O R S P L I T, Four Split, and they sell different sizes of these. Uh, I believe this was the largest size they sold. And again, so it was essentially this blue bearing assembly, the screw with the shaft through the middle. Um, so I built the rest of this framework. Um, this was like an old three-point hitch adapter that I kind of used. Um, got some flat plate steel. Just some scrap steel I had weld, uh, laying around. I welded up. Um, and then this is the safety shutoff bar. I have this paracord going to the shutoff on the tractor. Um, so if anything would get wrapped up in the screw, you can just pull the bar, it shuts the tractor off. Um, there's no doubt that there's an element of danger to this splitter. Um, I'm not recommending anybody build one of these. Um, I'm showing this for informational purposes. Um, we, we are happy with it. So if you feel like this is something that work for you, uh, this is information. Um, you know, do so at your own risk. I will show, I did weld a little stop. I did weld a little stop under here as well. And that's to prevent wood, if, if wood would happen to get sideways, it keeps the wood from getting under here, jammed under here and, and potentially bending the shaft. So that's what that's there for. So I'll fire up the tractor here and uh, I'll just kind of show how it works here real quick.
shut the tractor off if we have to. Um, still wouldn't be good to get wrapped up in this. It seems like even if you pull it quick, it'll still turn a turn or two. But if you happen to get your clothing caught on that or something, that's what this bar is here for. So, yeah, it's been doing a really good job for us. I think I'm going to continue to, to really like it. Um, I built it for a lot cheaper than than like even some of the uh, the less expensive hydraulic splitters. And I don't have another engine to maintain. So, um, thought some of you guys might enjoy this. And, uh, again, I'm not recommending anybody build one, but... Uh, I'm happy I did. So if you have any questions, post them in the comments.